Welcome back to another episode of Spoiling the Tea with the Hannah guys. In today's video, I don't know what uh, products that she's that she's used, but the channel is called Cami Official, and the title is called How I Grew My Daughter's Hair Long and Healthy. Let's get this started. I'm back, but let's go right to the video. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you an extensive walkthrough of every single thing I do and everything that I've done to grow my six-year-old daughter's natural hair. Number one thing I can say that will really help your child's natural hair to grow and to flourish, and one thing that I definitely learned early on when it came to my daughter's natural hair, is to get a routine. I know that it may seem like extremely general for me just to say your child needs a natural hair routine, but they really do. A routine really helps to promote the length retention. I totally agree with her and especially with your kids having that routine is very important because as they go into adult um, they're here and they will really appreciate what you did like seriously so just jump right on let's see what else she says but then get on to a routine and overall growth of natural hair. When you have a set of things that you do all the time in a certain order during certain days or during a certain period of time, that consistency is what really helps to grow and develop your child's natural hair. So let me break down all the things that compose and comprise my six-year-old daughter's natural hair routine. So number one that I have on my list is simplicity of styles. The name of the game when it comes to natural hair growth for me, where I've seen the most success for myself and my daughter when it comes to growing our hair, is keeping it simple and when i say keeping it simple i mean not having hand in hair syndrome not feeling the need to comb the hair every day to brush the hair every day to style the hair every day to wash the hair every other day not to have tight barrettes and braids and all of that stuff in the hair every other day my daughter wears her hair in one of two styles all the time either she wears her hair in braids or she will wear her hair in twists and that is it. Those styles I love to do because they're quick, simple, effective, they last long, and more importantly, they do not put tension on my daughter's hair. So for me, when it came to the natural hair approach for my daughter, I wanted tension free styles. And the best way to do that was just to use her own hair and to braid it and to twist it. These simple styles promote hair growth, they promote length retention, and also it's a great way for you not to end up over manipulating your child's natural hair. So next I'm going to talk about these styling tools that I love to use in my daughter's natural hair. Now, my number one tool when it comes Comes to detangling natural hair or even doing my daughter's natural hair is the wide tooth comb. I am like the wide tooth comb lover. No shade again to like the brushes that came out and the brushes that people love to use. It's just not my thing. So here is the wide tooth comb that I use. You can find wide tooth combs pretty much any and everywhere, right? I got this wide tooth comb from Target. You can pick yours up from Sally's Beauty. You can pick one up from the dollar store. So the next styling tool that I like to use for my daughter's natural hair is the wet detangling brush. Now, I know I said previously I don't like using brushes to detangle her hair, and that is true. I do not use brushes as a primary detangler. That means after washing and conditioning her hair, the brush is not the first thing that I grab in order to get any knots or tangles out of her hair. It's the wide tooth comb first. But as a secondary type of detangling tool and a styling tool just to smooth my daughter's hair before I put any twists in or before I put any braids in, I like to use the wet brush. So this is the wet brush that I use here. As you can see, shout out to Princess Tiana, one of our favorite Disney princesses. And this is how the front of the wet brush looks. So another styling tool I love to use for my daughter's natural hair routine is a soft bristle bore brush, right? And the reason I emphasize soft is because it's not going to put a lot of tension on her hair. We want to keep it tension free so that way we are protecting the baby's edges as well as making sure that we are not snapping, breaking, and pulling their hair out. This is the soft bristle bore brush that I got and it is super soft. Like when you feel it, you can feel how soft and gentle it is and I purchased this from Target. So another tool that I think is very important when it comes to my daughter's 
natural hair routine is a spray bottle. When I style my daughter's natural hair, when it is wet, it is so important that you have a water bottle so that we constantly add water as you are detangling. And as you are going through the process of braiding and twisting and you just want the hair to look like supple and juicy, water is going to be the key. So this is the spray bottle that I use. And this is the long spray bottle. So next, I'm going to talk about the styling products that I use in my daughter's natural hair. So the number one thing that I look for when it comes to any styling product for my daughter's natural hair is water being the very first ingredient. I focus on using water-based products in my daughter's natural hair. And here is the reason why. If you want to retain length, in your child's natural hair, you have to use products that contain water. So this is the Aunt Jackie's Not On My Watch Instant Detangler Conditioner. And I love using this in my daughter's natural hair because it helps to get any type of tangles out. I like to use this as a pre-poo in my daughter's natural hair. If you are unfamiliar with what pre-pooing is, it's basically just pre-detangling the hair and pre-moisturizing the natural hair. So this is really good. I always pre-poo or pre-detangle my daughter's natural hair before I wash it. This has helped to cut down so many tears and so much breakage and so much heartache when it comes to wash day. The thing I like to use to detangle my daughter's natural hair is this Herbal Essence Hello Hydration Conditioner. You can get this, it's super affordable and it comes in this nice big bottle so you can go ham, right? You can go ham and use as much as you like in your child's hair. All right, so the next product I love to use in her hair is the Aunt Jackie's Quench Intense Leave-In Conditioner. This is also super affordable, y'all, because I told you we are bringing affordability. So as I showed you before when she was showing the detangling spray that she uses, our detangling spray is also a leave-in conditioner. So it's two in one. So when you are using that, you are also, you know, it's a leave-in conditioner. So it just does both jobs to the forefront i got this from target and i believe this was about 5.99 or 6.99 this leave-in conditioner is honestly the bomb it is a hidden gem it is a hidden secret this is so good not only in her hair but in my natural hair as well so next is a higher end leave-in this would be the camille rose coconut water leave-in i love using this because number one it smells so good so amazing it is super lightweight goes into the hair like a dream but it also has a lot of slip so this right here is the main choice three in one conditioner you can use this as a co-wash you can use this as a leave-in or you can use this as a rinse out i've used it as all three and it is is pretty darn good now moving on to styling creams this is the Camille Rose coconut water style setter I love this and if you don't know this is a bomb styler it smells super good this also so I like her tips and she's obviously showing you the product that's working for her my recommendation is obviously look into the products make sure that they're natural base products what i would recommend um is to get this is a growth booster oil oil this one get amla oil castor and then i don't have the rosemary on me because i did not exactly not that she was going to show these type of products i thought there's going to be more tips to it but um the rosemary essential oil do all these three, mix them together, and make that a routine. Put it in your regimen, and it will do wonders. So just make sure that, and another thing is, I usually recommend using henna, but if you don't want to see the, like, the red tones in your hair on dark hair, um, use cassia powder, and that will also help boost with hair growth. So if that's something you're looking for, Go ahead and watch the rest of the video, the link down below. And those products have worked for her. This is a great video. I like that. Till next time. Bye.